Good evening everyone and welcome to KimCast Art. We're ready to paint. I hope you are too. So get all your brushes out, your paints, your palette, and your easel, and let's get started. Let's get ready for another lesson in painting. We're going to do a nice mountain scene. And I think we're going to start out with some, about a bunch of colors here. I'll be running them across the screen so you'll be able to pause and write them down as we go. We got some um, ivory black, Van Dyke brown, Lazarin crimson, burnt sienna, sap green, cobalt blue this time, yellow okra, cad yellow, and titanium white. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the sky, and we're going to go right into this cobalt blue. We're going to load it up pretty good, tap it in there good. We'll start up at the corners, and around the top. Want the top to be a little bit darker as we work our way down. We'll get a little bit darker yet, I think. Got a little bit of uh, yellow ochre in there or something. And we'll work our way down. These are no crisscross strokes. A little bit more. Like them little blue areas in there. It's great. We're going to put some clouds in there. That'll help break up them clouds a little bit here and there. All the way down about halfway or so. Just go across the horizon like so. And we'll get some more, and we'll do some, we'll put some water in. From the water, we're going to start on the outside, and we're going to just pull down, just like that. I do have some yellow ochre in there. Well, that ought to be interesting. Pull it toward the middle, let it get lighter as it goes. And we'll just reload our brush. Do the same thing on the other side. A little extra there. That won't hurt nothing. Just like so. Maybe we'll bring a little bit of that over here. A little bit higher. All the way down. Won't hurt to leave a little bit of them white spots in there and then just roll right across. Blend it in. Blend it in. Just like so. You almost you won't be seeing all that as water anyway, so you don't have to be too fussy about it. And I'm gonna just keep that brush aside for we'll use it again. Next we'll take our little fan brush. And this one is a number two, I believe. And we're gonna load it really good with the white, titanium white. And we'll just start at the corner here. And we'll just start making a little circle, just like that. Let it go around, whip around, however you want them to go. Turn it over if you need more. Just kind of bring it right down, wherever you want it to be. Some more white. Yeah, I think we'll have another one right down below it. Let's get wild with it a little bit. It won't hurt you a bit. And let's just go ahead and we'll bring one more over here. Bring it way down over. Why not? Let's put a big one up here. This one is get really good and wild. More white paint. Get a little bit more white in that one. And we'll come up here a little bit more. 
Uh, it's not a small one right here. Not like so. Wash the brush. Probably helps to wipe them off first sometimes. They just get so much paint on them. You gotta wipe them off first. Alright, now let's go ahead and get a clean brush. And we'll just use just the corner of the brush. Just very gently. Pull it in. Little tiny circles. Right at the bottom. And blend it in there. Blend it in. However you want. Blend it right in. This one here. Blend it right in. And just knock it off that paint a little bit. Pull it up a little bit. Fluff them up just a tiny little bit. Like so. And we'll just very gently go across. Very gently. You can always go over them again if you want a little bit more white in them clouds. You just take your brush again, put it in the white. I want to make them a little bit whiter in here, so I can just flip them up in there a little bit. Make them a little bit wilder right there if I want to. Some more white. Kind of push your brush up into it a little bit. There you go. Don't want it to be too straight looking. Then don't look too good that way. Clean them out a little bit. Think about where they're going to be. That'll probably be covered up mostly anyway there. Wow, a little bit, a bit more white in there, but a little bit more fluffy. I'm actually just kind of pushing up against it a little bit, just to make it have some. I want it to leave some of the white in there. Probably could have thinned it a little bit and done that, be fine. But this will work just as well. Wash the brush again. Same thing, let's do it again. Pick them up a little bit, pop them up. There we go. Get just a little bit more white in there. Gives them a little bit more definition. Pop them right up. Just like that. Get that loose paint off it. Very gently. Very gently. Come across the top. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just go very gently. Barely touching the canvas. Just barely. You don't want to push hard. All your paint will come right off the canvas. Very gently. Right across the tops. Blend it right in. All right. Now, go ahead and wash that brush real quick. <laughs> I don't know if that's fun or not. Bob Ross says it is, but I'm not quite. A, I'm not quite sure I agree with him. Got a little bit of thin around my palette. Get rid of that one. All right, let's go in with the knife. We'll take a little bit of this ivory black, make a little pile. 
from the Van Dyke Brown, Rising Crimson, and some blue, Cobalt Blue. Make us a good little pile here. We're going to need a lot of that, so you might as well make a good sized pile of it. More brown. I want to get that a bit more crimson -y. Mix it up nice and thoroughly. be a bit brown. I want to get more crimson in. I might need to get more crimson, period. And some more blue. I want that to be more blue and crimson than probably the other colors. Alright, that'll work. I'm going to be needing some more crimson by the looks. If I can find it real quick. My head is right in the way, I'm sure. Now yeah, we'll get it in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll start with the mountains. And I think we're going to start with one of them right about here. And it's going to be a bit lower, so we're going to just put it in about right here. Just kind of give it a good little push and push that paint right in. And then we're going to come up a lot higher, right up into here. A little bit straighter. Right into that one. I think we're going to just kind of make that one come around there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll bring another one right here. About like so. I think I'm going to bring this one just a little bit more this way. A little bit more pink. There we go. I want that to be a little bit more that way. And this way. Okay. Put the knife off. And just kind of scrape that paint right off. Scrape it right off, good. Just want that nice dark to be underneath, that's all. Okay. We can use this other one. One here, it's blue one, be fine. Just taking it up to the side of the top. And we're going to bring it right out. Just like that. Here, come right on down, and we'll bring this one the other way, just like so. All right, I remember that line is right there, we want it to be there. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll wash our brush this time. I got quite a few of them here. I'll probably get a bunch of them going here. Trying to save some time. Okay. While you brush off. Now let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and just grab some white. And it can have a little bit of that blue in there from, probably got a little bit of blue in there from the sky. I won't hurt it a bit. So we'll start with right over here. Very lightly. Pull it down very lightly. Another roll. Just like so. Very lightly. See, see the paint pull. You see the paint pull right on it.
pull it right over to here. We're going to come right on down. Right on down this way. Just like that. And we'll get just a little bit over here. Put it on the top. Okay, we'll add, take some of that white, put it aside, I'll put a little bit of crimson in it, a little bit of blue, a little bit of both. But we'll make it a little, be a little bit darker, but we want to have some color in there, Put some of the pretty colors in there. And we're going to just take very carefully and start right there very gently pour it on down right into it right here about there. A bit more right in there. And we'll put a little bit over here. Like so. We'll grab a little bit more white and put it in too. Just a little bit. Right there. And we'll grab that. Cover it up, like so, and I think we'll have another little mountain about right here. We'll just, we'll just manufacture one right about here. A little bit more white. About right there. About right there more. Plenty of paint. I'm not using enough paint right there. There we go. There we go. I want to make that come around. Okay, now we'll get some more of that same dark color. Brush. A nice clean dry brush. And we'll just tap it on the bottom. I'm sure you're familiar with that by now if you've been watching my lessons. We're going to tap it and get some nice mist going here. Get right up into it. Right up into that mountain. Mist it up real good. There we go. Wipe your, wipe your brush off. Just kind of gently pull it up. Gently pull it up. Gently pull it up. Pull that way of the land. There you go. Just gently pull it up. Just like that. Like that. That simple. Okay. Let's see if we can put a little bit of a land right here. We'll get a good old fan brush and load it up with this dark color. And let's just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and put in some land back here. All the way across. Just like that. Okay. Like so. Okay. Now, we got a little bit of foliage back there. So let's, we'll just go ahead and put a little bit of this dark color and mix it in with a little bit of this green. We're just a little bit of a greenish tint back there, but very little bit. We'll just dab a little bit of that green in there. Just a little. Just a little bit. Wash the brush. Okay. 
now. Let's make sure that's good and dry. I know this mine was getting pretty wet, too wet. So let's go ahead and put a few pine trees in. And we'll just grab some more of that green with a darker mixture to it. Add some more dark. But mostly green. We want to get a greenish tint. Get a good amount going right there. And we're going to very carefully make sure that's good and straight. And really carefully, we'll just take and we'll just tap a little bit of a line right there. I like to do all the lines at one time, kind of. Probably could have left it just as dark as it was. Maybe we'll put a tree here. Maybe one over here. Maybe I have. I think we'll make them darker though. A little bit darker. And don't worry about them going into water. I want them to go into water anyway because we're going to have the reflections for that tree. So you might as well go ahead and let it go in the water. And then we can just go ahead and put one way over here. Right about in here somewhere. And that we can go in the water too. Lots of paint. And we'll go ahead and that's not as thin as I like it to be. It should be a lot sharper than that. But we'll go ahead and we'll go with it. And we'll go ahead and we'll just tap in our little pine trees here. Probably should use a smaller fan brush. I have some too, but I just haven't used them. I'm going to get rid of the green paint. Let's just go back to plain black. Plain, not black, but the darker color. This is the background color. That's a lot lighter than I want. So we'll just do that. We can darken it right back up that way. I want them to be darker. They're far away, so we want them to be a bit darker back there. Just make that one a little bit taller if we need to. Not like so. Okay. Now we can, um, Figure out about where the lay of the land is going to be here. We're going to actually be using, we can use some of this paint right here. Kind of tap in here. I know we're going to be coming down quite a ways here. So, let's just bring some down here. Right into here. We might as well do that right now. Now that we've got it. Use the paint up. Use the paint up. Tap it in, tap it in, get the dark color in there. Just like so. Just get a dark color there. And we'll do the same over here. We'll come on down this way. We're going to come a little bit more this way. Over here. We're going to come all the way down around. Right over to the corner. Right over to that corner right there. Tap it right in. Some more dark color. Like so. got some uh, other foliage we're going to put back there and usually this is done on a lot bigger canvas I'm doing it on a pretty small canvas so it's kind of changed the rules on me a little bit here as far as what I want to do but we'll give it a shot anyway um, we're going to take a little bit of this um, darker green we'll just load our brush real good with it some of this dark color, we'll put it right back into that green. And we'll just take and 
push this little bit of bushes in there. You can. May not be quite enough. Those are awful big bushes, ain't they? I don't like them at all. A little bit bigger bush over there. Okay, we'll just put that brush aside and we'll take a little bit of the green. I think we're going to try and find another brush to do that with. I think we'll just try this brush right here. Now we'll get some green, plain old green, and I think we're just going to just tap some green in there. And these are kind of going to be, end up being trees, is what they're going to be. They end up being bigger trees. Not like so. A little bit of darkness in it. Darkness in it. And some of here. 